This week in Jamaica now, the Moravian Miss, the President and Vice President of the Moravian Church resign amid damning allegations. A pastor is on bail on sex charges and a bishop pulls out of the National Leadership Prayer Breakfast. Why the embattled Hampton Principal Heather Murray has been sent on leave and told to get counseling. And fire at the Bustamante Hospital for Children. I'm Damian Mitchell and this is Jamaica Now. It's been a dark week for the Moravian Church in Jamaica. Two of its most senior executives stepping aside amid serious allegations against them. The developments relating to Dr. Paul Gardner, the president of the Moravian Church in Jamaica, and his vice president, Jermaine Gibson, were contained in a January 12 email from the Moravian bishops Stanley Clark and Devon Anglin. The bishops were responding to a woman who wrote to them two days earlier detailing a series of incidents that began when she was 14 years old and continued for years. And the bishops say an independent committee is to be established to investigate the allegations made against Dr. Gardner and Mr. Gibson. According to the bishops, the appropriate actions will be taken when the committee completes its report. In the meantime, the pastor at the Nazareth Moravian Church, Rupert Clark, has now taken up his $800,000 bail. Clark is before the St. Elizabeth Parish Court on the charge of having sex with a minor. And the police say he will face an additional criminal charge. Mr. Clark is accused of having sex with a 15-year-old St. Elizabeth girl. He is to return to court on February 13. And the Director of Public Prosecutions says when the St. Elizabeth Circuit Court opens, she will apply for the matter to be transferred to Kingston to ensure that there is fairness for the victim and the accused. Meanwhile, the National Prayer Leadership Breakfast Committee is now making arrangements for a new guest speaker for the 37th National Leadership Prayer Breakfast after the withdrawal of the Moravian bishop who was scheduled to give the keynote address. Bishop Stanley Clark reportedly communicated his decision on Thursday that he will no longer speak. It's understood that there had been concern among members of the National Leadership Prayer Breakfast Committee about keeping the Moravian bishop as guest speaker given the sex scandal now rocking his denomination. And the latest development in the Moravian sex scandal has reignited concerns about the future of the Moravian Church in Jamaica. It was among the concerns put to the now outgoing president, Dr. Paul Gardner, last week, Friday, January 6. Do you sense that this may be the beginning of the fall of the Moravian Church? Oh no. As a church, we will come out of this. Strong, we'll come out of this united. A brother or an individual within the church may will fall, but the church remains the body of Christ. Jesus Christ is the head of this church. And there's no fear that this may open up other cases and more can of worms. If that does happen, God forbid it doesn't. Damien, trust me, the church that has been here from 1754 remain resolute, strong and determined to serve this country and to serve humanity and to be an agent of the Lord Jesus Christ in this world. The embattled principal of the Hampton School in St. Elizabeth, Heather Murray, has been sent on leave. She is also expected to seek professional counseling. Murray has been receiving intense backlash since she appeared at the bail hearing of Rupert Clark and attempted to block the media there. However, she had earlier denied interfering with the media. This week, Mrs. Murray issued a public apology to the media her students, and the board, as well as the country. While on leave, she is expected to prepare a full report to the board, which is expected to review it and make a decision on the appropriate course of action. In other news, journalist and newspaper columnist Ian Boyne faced pushback from members of civil society and the legal fraternity this week for suggesting that the government curtail the rights of Jamaicans in an attempt to curb crime. Writing in the Sunday Gleaner, Boyne said some communities should be locked down and known criminals should be jailed. Boyne also said the security forces should be able to search people's properties without warrants because, according to him, these are not normal times. One health worker had to seek medical attention for smoke inhalation following a fire at the Bustamante Hospital for Children late Thursday evening. The fire, which started about 8.30 p.m., was restricted to the consultant's room inside the intensive care unit and was contained before firefighters arrived on the scene. The four patients in the unit have been relocated to other areas of the hospital. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments at onlinefeedback at gleanerjm.com. You may tune in to Power 106 FM for regular updates. 
Follow us on Twitter at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. I'm Damian Mitchell, and before we go, more from that January 6th interview with the outgoing head of the Moravian Church in Jamaica, Dr. Paul Gardner. I knew nothing in this case. So in other words, you had no previous knowledge about allegations concerning the past and now before the court? No, I, I, I have no such information. In respect of the claims, too, that in fact there are other ministers who are said to be involved. Is there any truth to claims that ministers are, are shielded by reassigning them, or in our case we call it transferring them from one congregation to the other? That is not true. We have a system of transfers. I have, within the last 20 years, I've been transferred five times. Nobody stays at any place too long. That's the culture of the Moravian Church. I am putting it to you in the form of a question as to whether the practice in the Moravian Church of transferring personnel, some of them uh, alleged to be acting inappropriately. I'm asking whether that is, in fact, an attempt at shielding or, or, or removing them out of the fire. No, that we have no such practice.